Hey guys, welcome back. Happy Friday and happy Vlogtober day 28. Um, the usual as a mirror for a second. I wanted to uh, start off by saying thank you to everybody who has been sending me messages today on this um, two year anniversary of Mr.'s death. Um, it's, I've been okay this morning. I mean, you know, I've cried and stuff, but look how puffy. <laughs> And I think it's, you know, what makes me cry the most is all the messages. Um, like, people, um, you know, sending me well wishes, people posting memories, um, stuff like that is what actually makes me cry more. <laughs> like, that's what gets me, is the kindness of everybody. But I, yeah, at the same time, I love it, you know what I mean? Like, I'm always like, oh, I sh oh, sometimes I'm like, maybe I should say, don't you know, don't tag me in nothing, but no, that's that's not the, that's not the way to get through it. But, um, I took today off work. I'm just going to have a me mental health day. Um, my supervisor is very sweet and understanding and she was like yeah but you know me I took some stuff home and I was like I'll probably do a, a few things this weekend maybe tomorrow but I knew like I knew I didn't want to be in the building today because I knew I would get emotional at some point but it's been okay um, I've decided I'm going to go to lunch. I'm going to go to the steakhouse and have a steak in Mr.'s honor because that was his favorite. And then I got to go to the mall. I hate going to the mall, but I want to go to Bath and Body Works because I need a new candle. And I got another order. A shirt, some shirt orders. So I'm going to work on that today. Also, um... So that's what's going to happen. So I still have some of this gel, this color gel. I'm going to put in my hair today. And I'm wearing my Nelson Strong shirt. So hopefully this still works. It's old. Purple is the, you know, the national color for pancreatic cancer. So put a little purple in my hair today in honor of Mr. And it's just like a temporary gel color. It don't last long. I'll probably be washing my hair this weekend at some point anyway. So like this is the perfect time to do it. Represent Mr. And um, it'll give me a reason to wash my hair. <laughs> so that's what's going on, but I just wanted to open up the vlog and say thank you to everybody. Um, I have read all of the messages as they come in, and I appreciate it, so just know that. And yeah, I'm gonna add a little color to my hair, and I'll be back. I came to one of Mr. favorite restaurants, Longhorn Steakhouse. Up in here, nice and peaceful. That's kind of big. Thank you. I got my margarita. She was like, You want a regular or a long pour? I was like, What's a long pour, honey? Because that sounds like something I need. But it's just where they give you, <laughs> you know, they fill up, they give you this. So it was just more. But I was like, Yes, honey, I'm going to need the long pour. I got a Caesar salad. And she brought me some bread. And be stuffed. It's definitely gonna be lunch and dinner. I got a um, a ribeye steak because I wanted a steak with a bone in it, so I could take the to Joy because you know make her feel a little special today too. Cause, yeah, but it's a twenty ounce, and I'm like, oh god, I know I can't eat that much, but 
I'll enjoy most of it and then take the rest home. Yeah. Look at this. I can't. <laughs> I can't even focus. This thing is huge. <laughs> what it was I thinking? My eyes was bigger than my stomach. I did get a little side of rice too, but this woo child. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and try that though. Yeah. I'm so full. I I can't even. It tastes so good. It's like amazing and I can't even chew anymore because I'm so full I ate all my broccoli that broccoli was fantabulous and look I only ate half well a little bit more than half of the salad but and I tasted the bread but I was going to eat all that well I can't I got to tap out <laughs> I got to tap out and she came talking about you want dessert I said girl is you crazy yeah done you can't even put a fork in me because i'm so full i'm so stuffed they won't even poke through <laughs> it's so good though and i hope in my my spiritness that mister can taste this wonderful steak up in heaven come to michael's get this stuff to make these shirts i rode right past the mall where i wanted to get some candle but Oh well, <laughs> I'll do it another day. I'm going here and grab these shirts. Well, here I am, guys. Now, if I told y'all before my um, uh -oh. free membership that I had with the YMCA through our pre-diabetes program has expired, and they want $70 a month. Planet Fitness only want $10 a month. So I switched my membership, and I'm back at the... Planet Fitness, so I'm gonna get me a little bit of exercise and walk off some of that uh, food I just ate. Hey, hey. Okay, so many hours later, I had myself a wonderful nap and then I've just been chilling out, catching up on some messages because of course I knew today I would be getting a lot of messages. But I wanted to show y'all. Um, so I got this from Miss Brenda when we met up with her in DC. And this is a Drunken Diablo Rum Runner. And it came with this strainer. So it says that you pour the rum in here and you let it infuse for 48 hours. And then you strain it into a pitcher, serve with ice, and then you can top it with sparkling water for to make it fizzy. Um, I probably would use like Sprite though, cause I don't like sparkling water, but this little devil head, <clears throat> y'all see his, his horns and inside it looks like it's like dried oranges and I don't know what these other flake things are. And then it's some red stuff and I don't know if that's sugar, is it Kool-Aid? <clears throat> no idea, but, um... We're going to infuse it. It has to sit for 48 hours. So um, I figure I'll taste it like on Halloween. That'll be my way to end Vlogtober because <laughs> it's Friday night. So I can taste it Monday. Um, oh, that is very orangey, but also a sweet smell also. Um, so it says to add 700 milliliters of white rum y'all know my math don't be math and so i asked siri and siri said 2.96 cups equals 700 milliliters <laughs> so i'm gonna put three cups in because who gonna do 2.96 right siri tripping who gonna count nine six so it's probably the whole bottle though is this 700 mil i don't even know but yeah, I think it's the whole bottle. <laughs> um, let's see if I can get it in here without making a mess. I probably need a funnel of some sort. I'm about to make a mess. Hold on. Okay, so I don't know where the darn measuring thing is that has a little spout to it. So I have to macgyver something real quick <laughs> i'm using a paper bowl i'm making my own little spout 
and pouring it in this way. So that's two. I'm gonna do one more. That was half the bottle. But no worries. That rum will not go to waste. You don't gotta worry about that. All right, hold on. So I wonder if I'm supposed to not even stir it, but now I feel like, ooh, uh-oh. Making a mess, y'all. Here we go. Um. Like all that sugar stuff sitting at the bottom. I think I should stir it. I guess it'll, I did bring a straw. <laughs> Let's see. Well, I guess it really won't matter because it's all gonna sink back to the bottom anyway. <laughs> but mix it up just a little bit. And then we're gonna let it sit. So, you just have to um, make sure you check back on the last day of Vlogtober and see what Mr. Drunken Diablo tastes like. Look at all that space left over. But, I'm going to leave it like that. Y'all know I always be trying to do stuff extra. I'm going to follow the instructions. I'll put the cap back on. And uh, there you have it. Oh, that's definitely some sugar. <laughs> Look at that. That's like, that's like thick. Oh, all right. So we'll check back in two days and see what it's fitting for.